Hi everyone, it's Lena here, and in this short video, I'll be showing you how fun and easy it is to control FL Studio with Keylab Essential. Let's get into it. FL Studio comes with a dedicated Keylab Essential MIDI script, which allows it to be recognized instantly after launching it alongside your DAW. However, it's always good to make sure you're using the latest DAW versions to ensure the best Keylab Essential integration experience. Normally, with the latest DAW version, you won't need to dive deep into the menu to set it up, as it's done automatically when you launch your DAW. Let's start with the Keylab Essentials main encoder. This controls different things depending on what tab you have selected in FL Studio. If you're in the channel rack, it will navigate through the selected tab And if you're in the mixer or browser, it will navigate through those windows, allowing you to speed up your workflow. You can also click the main encoder to show or hide the selected plugin in the channel rack or to arm, disarm the selected track in the mixer. Another way to use Keylab Essential to control FL Studio is to use its contextual buttons that have different functions. Contextual button number one toggles between controlling the channel rack and browser. Next, contextual button number two toggles between the channel rack and mixer, while contextual buttons number three and four select the previous or next pattern in the channel rack or the previous or next preset in the stock plugin. Moving on to the transport section, we have the play, stop, record, and loop buttons. These buttons are self-explanatory and allow you to control the playback and recording of your music. Now let's talk about the Keylab Essential knobs and faders. In the channel rack view, knobs and faders 1 to 8 control parameters of the currently selected plugin, while knob 9 and fader 9 control the volume and pan of the selected track. This allows you to shape your sound instantly while playing. Now in the mixer view, knobs and faders 1 to 8 control the volume and pan of the corresponding track, while knob 9 and fader 9 control the volume and pan of the master track. The part button is a key feature. It lets you shift the control of the eight tracks you're working with. Pressing it toggles between shifting those eight tracks by eight steps and reverting to the default position. Long pressing the part button and turning the main encoder will let you shift the controlled mixer bank. Pressing it again will go back to controlling the device. The pads on the Keylab Essential are also useful when making music with FL Studio. Pressing them will send MIDI notes and trigger sounds, and by default, they have been automatically mapped to the FPC plugin in FL Studio. Finally, if you're using Arturia software instruments like Analog Lab, make sure to connect the plugin to the MIDI input 10 by entering MIDI settings in the top left corner. If you're using Analog Lab, you can enter Analog Lab mode to have perfect control over the plugin by selecting the Arturia program on the Keylab Essential with the PROG button. When Analog Lab is selected, you can manage the plugin as you would do in a standalone, including navigation, selection, and macros control. Okay, that's it. I hope that this video has given you the chance to see how seamless it is using Keylab Essential with FL Studio. For more detailed information on Keylab Essential and how to use it, make sure to watch our dedicated video series on our channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon.